What's going on YouTube? It's the Game Zombie here with some all new news on Mortal Kombat 11. So recently Ed Boon did an interview over at GameSpot and he revealed a couple of interesting details, mainly about Garrus, some gameplay and microtransactions. So let's get right into it. First of all, the person interviewing asked him, let's talk about Garrus. MK has a long history with many of his characters that we've been playing for so long. How do you work in a new character? And also, how do you incorporate some very different mechanics? What was the inspiration behind bringing Garrus into the myth? And Edmund responded, a lot of Garrus came from the stories that were being written. This character, Chronica, she hates her minions and her allies, and we knew that we needed a character to be her ally. We started talking about a couple of the visual designs and features, and that's when Garrus was born. With that kind of framework in mind, our designers thought, okay, what can we make him do in the game? That's where they came up with things like, oh, he can rewind time in the middle of the game. It's kind of like a multi-step process in terms of Garrus. His original idea came from the writers were doing the story. So, a little interesting tidbit of information right there about Chronica. Not so much Garrus, but that Chronica hates her minions and allies. And I really doubt that Garrus is a minion. So, maybe he started off as an ally. Maybe he, you know, becomes corrupted. But somehow I get the feeling that they're going to be at each other's throat by the end of the game. Next, Ed Boon was asked, What else have you learned in terms of customization, gear, and maybe microtransactions? And in response, Ed Boon said, A lot. Like with Injustice, that was heavily focused on gear and changing gear, players constantly getting rewards and stuff like that, and we're certainly trying to separate the visuals of what the gear looks like to what it actually does. Because with Injustice, they were kind of married together. You got a mask or something, it did A, B, and C. In Mortal Kombat 11, you just get the visual mask and then player programs what it does. So it's really kind of separating the visual and the gameplay. That was one of the lessons that we learned from Injustice 2. So really, really good to know that. I mean, he had already kind of touched on that before, but it really bothered me how you would get this dope ass looking outfit or mask and you couldn't use it because it altered your stats in a way that you didn't want to but you just ended up using it anyways because it just looks so damn cool but it almost made your character weaker i'm really glad that they're not combining those two things and that they're separate this time around and finally what i think is probably the biggest bit of information edmund was asked any comment on what microtransactions will look like in mk11 and he responded yeah well i guess you know we absolutely divorced gameplay from any kind of advantages you could get we really wanted to have it so you can't buy your way to a better character and honestly for this game we're veering away from that we're not going to have loot boxes or anything like that. So that's big. It's more of an industry direction than it is a fighting game or Mortal Kombat direction. I think that loot boxes work fine in Injustice because it didn't affect the gameplay and whatnot. But at the same time, we're just kind of steering away from it. So huge confirmation. Props to NetherRealm for not going the completely asshole greedy route and getting away from microtransactions. Ed Boon confirming here that Mortal Kombat 11 will not have any microtransactions whatsoever. And I'm really hoping that they stay that course for the foreseeable future because microtransactions in itself are just toxic. They promote so many bad habits like gambling for kids and there's a lot of science behind why they're bad as well So last bit of information I have for you guys earlier today over on Twitter a guy named boss logic Who does a lot of really cool graphic design and Photoshop work tweeted out a picture of Terry Crews The actor known from white chicks the old spice commercials and Brooklyn 99 outfitted to look like Jax And honestly, it is probably one of the best Jax I've ever seen since Jax's inception I would love to see a Terry Crews Jax but this guy, Boss Logic, tweeted out to Ed Boon, and Ed Boon said, uh, if Jax is in Mortal Kombat 11, hashtag don't say Jax is confirmed. He also said, would be awesome if we could make this a real thing. And Terry Crews responded, I would love to do this. Now, if you don't know, Terry Crews is actually a big gamer because his son was into video gaming, and he actually has his own gaming channel, his own Twitch, his own YouTube. I will link it in the description box below. Uh, but really cool stuff right here, you guys. Um, if Terry Crews is down to do it, I honestly couldn't see why, if there's enough demand for it, they wouldn't do something like this. I mean, we had the Carl Weathers Jack skin back in MKX. I really don't see why we wouldn't have a Terry Crews Jack's version. Uh, especially because they know they can make some money off it if they do it as a DLC skin. So really looking forward to seeing this happen because I'm pretty sure it's going to happen. Looks like both Ed Boon and Terry Crews are on board and it wouldn't be the first time that an outside artist has made DLC in particularly outfits happen. So really cool bit of information you guys. Uh, if anybody deserves to be in a game it is Terry Crews. I know he really wanted to be in Overwatch and that never ended up happening the way he wanted it to. Uh, so hopefully this will happen for the guy. So that's going to do it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What do you guys think about Garrus? What do you guys think about no loot boxes and do you guys want to see terry cruz as Jax in mortal kombat let me know in the comment section below i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did feel free to hit that like button and if you haven't already subscribe